Sup, squadlings! Oh shit, pirates! Did Peter Pan just fly out of the void? Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe. Do you have it a problem with like that? Flo are That's not working, Ariel! <laughs> I, Donald did stop on him while he was blocking and while I was in the middle of punching him and I was just hitting him out of frustration. <laughs> God damn it, Tom! <laughs> I was oh, like, what are you I doing? just want to kill him. <laughs> Please. That, that is kind of hilarious. <laughs> God damn, I hate Riku so much. Like, <laughs> like, like, in Kingdom Hearts 3, I can look at him without him. And even 2 a little bit. I can look at him and... You know, it's not a problem. He's just, he's just Riku. But in this one, I think it has a lot to do with the stupid facial expressions and the giant shoes, too. <laughs> I mean, Cause, they do that. Because <laughs> cause he wants us to take him 100% seriously. But he's being a little bitch, and he looks like a fucking freak, so I can't do it. <laughs> you know, and it, it's just, it makes me mad. I don't know what to tell you. It makes me mad. <laughs> Um, and I know it has a lot to do with how, like, the game looks, because Replica Riku in Kingdom Hearts 3, I can look at, and he's still be a little bitch, but I, I, I don't get angry, but I get ah, angry at so this Riku. Riku <laughs> does come back. Oh my god, that's the perfect name. Yes, that, Wait. that's the fan in name. Replica. <laughs> Wait, did I just spoil that for you? I mean, I kind of assumed he would, because the first cutscene with Riku, he mentioned the other him. And I was like, wait, is Replicoo gonna be here? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> but yes, I've been busy building shit, so I haven't finished the game. Building what? <laughs> Torches, the big giant puzzle box that I have to wire, well, paint, and then wire. Oh! Not in the game! In real yes, life! Yes, okay. I mean actually building things. Right, okay. I thought you meant in the game, like a side quest or something. No. <laughs> Although, I'm still at the Pirates of the Caribbean world. Spoilers. <laughs> Isn't that like the second to last one? <laughs> I think so. But I, I had to grind to beat Barbosa. And the Kraken. No, not Barbosa. Davy Jones. Barbosa's on our side this game, I guess. Um. <laughs> so. I haven't gone back since then, which people paid attention may have noticed that that's where I was last time we recorded. And they may think this is a Final Fantasy 15 situation. And you know what? I'm concerned about that too. But I do want to finish the game. Because god damn it, I'm supposed to be in the Union Cross thing, although there's a chance that I didn't make it. But I'm supposed to be there, damn it. Because <laughs> they did that uh, thing where they're like, well, we're not going to tell you if you were chosen. You just have to find out. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of shitty, though. I mean, like... A I mean, lot okay, of things I, do that now. I get it! I understand, because... Like, the moment is actually pretty poignant, so I guess they would want that to, like, you know, have its full impact on people. But on the other hand, if you're looking for your name and you just don't find it, <laughs> that would be... That would be well, except that's not moment. even the only thing I've done recently where they're like, yeah, we're not even going to tell you if you get in, you just have to walk. <laughs> what was the other thing? This scavenger hunt I do? What they do is if you make the, like, Hall of Fame or the the yearbook, uh, they don't tell you. You just have to find out. <laughs> and I'm like, but I don't want to buy the yearbook unless I know I'm in it. I mean, yeah, obviously. Can you order, like, a sample? <laughs> well, what a you lot of people do, apparently, is they order it, and then if they don't like it or they're not in it, they sell it. To someone else. <laughs> Did I sell it at a profit? No. <laughs> oh. That's a dick move. <laughs> Brian, do not. <laughs> <laughs> do not what? That's basically do scalping, and scalping makes me angry. Do not capitalism? Is that yes. what you want? <laughs> Bad Brian. 
<laughs> well, you know, if it's if that's if they're willing to pay, why why not? Why not? They, they just weren't charging enough. <laughs> Bad, Brian. <laughs> I didn't say I was gonna do it. I just asked if you were gonna do it. All right, ready? What? Ready for what? <coughs> are we gonna are we gonna sing? Cause I haven't rehearsed. <laughs> the ruins of Hollow Bastion, <laughs> where Maleficent resides. <laughs> but you won't be going there. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why the hell would he give Sora that information? <laughs> because he's cocky. Okay, can we just can we just establish that? Okay, Tinkerbell is in like a glass lantern thing. Yes. So she's not really in any danger, immediate danger right now, unless he like throws her off the edge. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what he was threatening. Oh, uh, okay. Because he was holding his hook up to her, like I'm gonna stab you through this glass. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, weren't we in space? <laughs> you know, don't question it. I'm questioning it. <laughs> Unless this space crocodile is a space crocodile. <laughs> I mean, we had a whale. It wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be that far. Just believe, and you can do it. Um. Oh, this is when we get the glide ability. <laughs> I love that one frame eye close. <laughs> yeah, it's always bothered me. <laughs> okay, now we can kill him. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Hey, don't mention it. You didn't think I'd leave you in I mean, you did say you. once you got Wendy you were leaving, so <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, we I might have made an assumption did, there. Admittedly, you're also kind of a dick, so. <laughs> Wait, didn't you have the power of healing before? <laughs> it was upgraded. Kira went to Kira. Uh, okay. uh, and then it goes to Kiraga. Oh, God, it's just adding letters. <laughs> and then it goes to Kiraga think... in some games. Oh my. <laughs> and I think Kingdom Hearts 3 changed it so now it's Kira Za. <laughs> or that Za is the fourth level. It, it's kind of just a standard uh, Square Enix thing for how spells get upgraded. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we've, we've talked about it before and it was stupid then and it's stupid now. <laughs> Yeah, Yo, especially you... since I don't know how to pronounce the third level of fire without it sounding like Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> what if that's what if it's supposed to be Viagra? Maybe it is though? supposed to be Viagra. <laughs> Viagra? <laughs> that just sounds like I don't know how to say words. <laughs> <laughs> um what was I saying? Uh Is flying actually helping you here? No. You do. I mean, similar to swimming, you can't do most of your combos when you're in the air. However, right. because they're in the air and I'm locked onto them, it's making me go in the air. <laughs> oh. Oh well, I guess <laughs> we could just fly away. Like, but we gotta beat up this here. pirate ship, heartless. That's so weird. <laughs> I always liked them. I made a big paper craft of one of them for Aaron. But is the pirate ship part of the Heartless? Yes! Is like the pirate ship part its legs or something? Yes. <laughs> you got a problem? Oh my with god! You? Oh my god, stop. Peter, stop. <laughs> you can't stop. Peter has no chill. <laughs> you just stabbed a bitch. I was gonna say, you literally just stabbed him in the ass. Now 
Yeah, it's like that even <laughs> a prank. That was just literally just stabbing him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, you, you just shanked him. We're not even in jail. I mean, I guess we were in the brig earlier, so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it doesn't take long. <laughs> Yeah, keep jumping off the edge of the boat trying to jump to me. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Make my job easier. What's he what's he even doing? <laughs> well, he's jumping off the side of the ship. And then <laughs> complaining that the crocodile's trying to eat him. <laughs> and then say, Not me other hands! Yo, I have the craziest idea. Why don't we go down and we bring the crocodile onto the ship? I feel like the crocodile would just eat us. No, no. See, we'll we'll point him toward Captain Hook. We'll cast you know, Aroga. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I don't have that yet, so. Oh, well. Let's leave and come back! It's not like we have to be here for any reason. <laughs> I mean, we kind of do. What- what are we gaining from this? Kyrie's gone! Riku's gone! I mean, we can't Wendy's even go gone. to the ruins of Hollow Bastion where Maleficent resides. Well, how is- how is beating him gonna help us with that? <laughs> I mean, maybe he'll drop a gummy we need, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, I always kill people just to see if they have things that I want. <laughs> Do you not? <laughs> Yo, is this guy a deli bird now? <laughs> jelly bird? Deli bird, he's throwing explosive presents. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a deli bird, I'll name him Captain Hook. <laughs> That'll be great. Forget the Santa Claus angle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Speaking of it, are they? Do you think they're gonna? Sh when's when's Sh Sword and Shield gonna come out? <laughs> Probably Christmas or okay. November. They like to release games in November. Are they gonna? Do you think they're gonna do what they always do and? release basically all the new Pokemon. <laughs> Maybe. Or at least a great portion of them. <laughs> I at least need them to release the final evolutions of the starters. Because I really hate the first evolution. <laughs> <laughs> I know Sobble has some fans, but guys, it's so lame. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. He's the least lame, I will give you that, but they're all so generic. I mean, that's why, um, okay, Sobble, um, the third evolution, he'll just be invisible all the time. So, there's that, and then with the bunny one, it's just him, only more and more bandages, and he'll just have a body cast. Dude, if he third. turns into a mummy and goes... Uh, fire ghost, I would be amazing. <laughs> I would choose that in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. And I don't know what they're gonna do about the monkey one. Cause it's just gonna He's be just a gonna become monkey. a- You know what? You know what? He's just not gonna evolve. That's gonna be his quirk. He just say, stays the same. Every time you think he's gonna <laughs> evolve, he just gets another stick. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what? I wouldn't even be mad. <laughs> Running out of ideas. Whatever, it's fine. Just give him another stick. <laughs> Everyone's really hoping we get a new evolution this year. <laughs> I mean, has there been like uh, last uh, one was a, fair a consistent pattern ish? Uh, of, like every other generation or something. So, Gen 1 had the first three, obviously. Gen 2 had the next two. Gen 3 did not have a new Eevee. Gen 4 had Glaceon and Leafeon. Gen 5 did not have a new Eevee, I believe. Gen 6 had, uh, Sylveon. 
Gen 7 did not have a new Eevee. So... If the pattern holds... Gen 6 had what? <laughs> Sylveon? Oh, okay. The fairy type? <laughs> yeah. So you want Ghost, I'm, See, I'm guessing. See, personally, I want Ghost, yes. However, I feel like they're more likely to do Steel and have it just be an armored Eevee that looks like a, you know, a knight. Yeah, well, they have to, they're gonna have to get to Ghost eventually. Or they'll do if a this... Dragon one because it's in the UK. <laughs> oh, yeah, that might make sense, actually. S but, Both uh, of them would make sense. So would Ghost. All three of those would make sense. <laughs> I mean, if this if this Poké Train ain't stopping, if this train ain't got no brakes, then they're going to have to get to Ghost eventually. Unless they just keep adding types, just to avoid making a Ghost evolution. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some people's ideas for it, I really think, I'm like, no, that's too mean. I know mine is mean, with the having them faint in the graveyard of the game, but having them evolve with an item of brick or axe... See, now that's just mean. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that mean? <laughs> think about it. Evolving into a ghost type after you use an axe? Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Okay, I I see now. I fuck I fucking understand. <laughs> and a similar note. That's why I got so mad at people who decided in Pokemon Go back when that was relevant. Um, that the professor was grinding the Pokemon into candy. I'm like, why the fuck would he do that? Besides for you guys to be edgy. <laughs> He's not. Uh grinding Pokemon into candy. He's probably just tagging them and releasing them again. Like scientists actually do. <laughs> Silly people on the internet. He's simply milking them. Oh god. And that's how he gets the candy. <laughs> I feel like that's worse. How does one milk an electrode? How Wouldn't does one milk like a barn? <laughs> well, I feel like that would one would be easier than the electrode. <laughs> it was reckless to bring her without at least using a vessel. Using a vessel. What type of vessel? <laughs> well, he just decided that he was going to use the door the dark corridors to get here without having a cloak or a ship. Or anything. Oh, that's what she meant. Yes. Because, you know, the organization used dark quarters all the time, but those stupid cloaks are specifically made to protect them from it. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Yep. So, why does Ansem the Wise wear one? Does he use those portals too? <laughs> Ansem does not usually have one on. Did he, he has one in three. I don't. I don't know what game it was. I know I've seen him in one though. <laughs> Usually he's in white or red. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not talking about when he was in mummy mode. No, like, I'm not talking about his Diz outfit. Oh, okay. Well, I I swear I've seen. You know, we'll come back to this after you finish Kingdom Hearts three, because it might be in that one. But I know I've seen it. Now, he does have a picture in the cloak. Yeah, I guess he is wearing the cloak in parts of three. Alright. Apparently, since that is definitely his Kingdom Hearts 3 model, it's definitely wearing the cloak, and I think the cutscene I saw where he was in the Realm of Darkness, he was wearing the cloak, in which case, that's why he was wearing it, Brian. <laughs> so it's just... Okay, fine! So Mick, just even Mickey has one, okay? She's just- it's just protecting you from darkness? That's Basically. It. Well, it's specifically from, like, areas of darkness, but yes. All you right. can't protect yourself from the darkness within. Right. Theming and all that. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna jump off this- oh. <laughs> nah, we can't. Maybe one day. 
<laughs> I mean, Sora can, like, run up walls now. I don't see why he could... I don't see why he would take fall damage. <laughs> Which, I gotta say, I think I complained about that already. The one part of the pirates level where they're like, Man, if only I could fly! It's like, you and basically fucking can! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, tune in next time for going back to Traverse Town so that we can access Hollow Bastion or something, I don't remember. <laughs>